Tim, how's morale with the Cowboys? Oh, I think morale will be okay. I think players, you know, ride through these things pretty comfortably. And uh, since nobody really knows what's going on, and since he's a running back and doesn't need to be an Oxnard at all, uh, I think they'll be able to, to get their work in. But the morale around, you know, Cowboy fans, there's always a little bit of paranoia when these things happen. Everybody immediately uh, kicks back to Emmett Smith. Yeah. When Ed Werder and I were the, uh, the uh, cub reporters for the Dallas Morning News covering this team. And so we all have memories of that. But I think this will be a drastically different situation. Is he worth the big money, though, Tim? That's the bigger picture that I don't know if people are addressing. Is he a $20 million a year, $18 million a year running back? Uh, I'm one of the few arguing no, although I don't know if everybody in favor of getting paid would go that high. Uh, I, I lean towards, not all the way, I lean towards the, uh, the analytics crowd that suggests he's not worth it and that running backs in general are not worth it. And I've always thought the way they use him, uh, only back in the league who had 300 carries last year. That's not to mention 77 catches. Uh, two more years to go on his contract, and then they could franchise it for a year. They seem intent to run him into the ground the first five or six years, yeah. get everything they can out of him, and then have a decision to make, is he a lead at this point? Is he a declining back at this point? Um because that's just the, the way the NFL looks at these th these guys, even the really, even the great ones like uh, like Zeke. But also, you have an owner, and you know he's desperate for a Super Bowl, um, more so than any other owner probably. Uh, what role does his personality play in getting this done or not getting this? Done? I mean, is 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 he going to be a hard line guy? Because he doesn't strike me as being a hard line guy. In you know that. Yeah, that's funny. He was in the first few years here, Jerry Jones kind of was, and he had some contentious negotiations with other players beyond Emmett. And now they haven't had that. They haven't really fought anybody in years. Yeah. And that's the best thing Zeke has going on his side, not just the personality part, but the Cowboys believe this year can be something. They went out for a change and signed guys on one year contracts, Robert Quinn from the Dolphins, Randall Cobb from the Packers to fill some holes, which they don't normally do. And they got Dak playing out his deal, and they got Jason Garrett as a lame duck coach, and they feel like this is an enormous opportunity. So they don't want to blow it by starting the season with Mike Weber as their starting running back, and so Zeke knows he's got that on his side. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.